Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in this video we're going to be carrying on with our 50p coin hunt. We've got another bag of £250 in 50p's and we're going to be going through looking for the commemoratives to fill our album. But before we get to the album, sort of, uh, just wanted to say don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. Um, really really over the moon with sort of how how well the channel's been doing recently um, we at the time of recording this we've hit 200 subscribers so absolutely over the moon didn't think that I would get even two subscribers let alone 200 so a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel and obviously when we hit 250 subscribers I will be doing another subscriber giveaway so don't forget to subscribe to the channel for your chance to be entered into that so with that said, let's have a look through the album and see what we're still missing. So obviously the Holy Grail, which is the Kew Gardens, we are still missing. Obviously we've got our full set of Olympics there. We got boxing on the, was it the 50 year or the 50p anniversary video we got that? I think it was. So that was a great find. And then we've got, we are, or we are missing, uh, gymnastics, judo, shooting, tennis, weightlifting, and wheelchair rugby. And then the only other one that we are missing is the 2019 Paddington at St. Paul's. So hopefully we'll be able to find another one today to add to the album. But with that said, let's crack on with the hunt and we'll see what we can find. So what we'll do is, is, as per normal, we'll do the first bag in real time. And what I'm going to do is just add the, there's a, actually looking at it, there's a couple of loose ones. So I'll add them in on this one as well. So first one we've got there is Shield. With the shield design, we are looking for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, and 18. Um, and also, sorry, 2017, as that is a low minted year. So we sh uh, obviously at the time of recording this, uh, the mintage figures haven't been released. Um, but from what we're being told at the moment, they should be released on the 14th of October. So hopefully we will have We'll know for sure that the 2018 is an NIFC. Uh, and yeah, nearly run straight past it. So the Britannia, we are looking for the year 2008, as that is a low mintage year as well. What I'll do is, is I'll put the shields and the Britannias off to the side, and I go through them at the end. And then we just have a look and see if we've managed to find any of the key dates. And there's our first commemorative. So that is Christopher Ironside. So a really, really nice design. And uh, yeah, that was one of the contenders to be the Britannia design for the 50p. So it's nice that we, uh, we got to see it at some point. And we're going to get another one in this bag before we finish. No. So, as I say, that's the, so that's the end of the first bag. So what we'll do is we will speed up. And when we get to something interesting, um, we will have a look. Well, there you go, straight off the bat, we have a dictionary, a very a marked dictionary actually. It looks like it's got a, a blue X scan across it. Yeah, that's a bit of a, a, a strange one. Obviously someone's marked it for some reason. And then sort of poking its head out at the back is a 2017. So what are we reckoning? Benjamin Bunny, 
Yep. <laughs> yeah, we don't go a hunt without seeing old Benjamin. But, yeah, it is a nice design. Unfortunately, it's just too highly minted. And there we go, there's our next commemorative. So that is Roger Bannister. Another stunning design, and it was actually part of the 50 years of the 50p set. The first set that was released earlier on in the year with the Kew Gardens. So yeah, another nice find. Oh my god, <laughs> brilliant, we have a judo, we have one for the album, absolutely brilliant, oh I am chuffed with that, absolutely brilliant, <laughs> oh amazing, absolutely over the moon with that that is just great to add another one to the album brilliant well let's hope that the luck can continue a bit more maybe get another one for the album or am i asking too much and being a bit too greedy <laughs> And there we go, we've got a Taylor of Gloucester. So, as I say, at the time of recording, we I haven't seen the, the mintage figures yet. I'm re literally recording this the, uh, the weekend before the mintage figures are due to re be released. But we have been told several times this year that the mintage figures are coming. So, hopefully they do get released on the 14th of October. Um, and if they do, I will update the annotations in the top corner. Um, but yeah, once I've seen them, then I'll be able to sort of give you my opinions. And there we go, we've got another dictionary. And there we go, we've got 2017's Tales of Peter Rabbit. So another common one, I believe that's around 18 or 19 million in the mintage figures. So very, very highly minted. And there we go, we've got something there. So obviously there's no date, 
So, what could it be? Battle of Hastings. Brilliant. So, one that's sort of crept above face value sort of in recent months. So, yeah, a nice find there. And there we go, we've got a Victoria across the medals. So a really, really nice design. But yeah, it is another common one though. And there we go, we've got a Battle of Britain. So with the Battle of Britain um, and the Battle of Britain only, there are two different mint marks just under the Queen's neck. Um, that's because the there are the two different coins have the two different uh, obverses. So one has the fourth portrait of the Queen and one has the fifth. The fourth portrait was by Ian Rank Broadley and it was only released in the, the sets and the, the bunk packs. And the fifth portrait was by Jody Clark and that was the one that was released in the circulation. So let's have a quick look. So you'll see quite clearly just there, it says JC. So that's the fifth portrait of the Queen. So that is a common one. Oh, wow! <laughs> a Jemima Puddle Duck. Absolutely amazing. That is an exceptional find. So we've got an Olympic that we need for the book and the Jemima Puddle Duck. Absolutely brilliant. So obviously part of the 2016 Beatrix Potter set. Um, all of the set is above face value, apart from Mrs. Tillywinkle. But Jemima Puddle Duck is by far the highest valued coin and an absolutely stunning find. Absolutely brilliant. And there we go, we've got another Tales of Peter Rabbit from 2017. And there we go, we've got another Benjamin Bunny. and straight into a Scouts. So another brilliant, brilliant design on the rear of a coin. Um, it is uh, a common coin, but it is a design that I do like. So yeah, brilliant. And there we go, we've got another 2017. This time it's Jeremy Fisher. Brilliant. So one more and then we've got the whole 2017 set. 
And there we go, straight into another one that's above face value. That's the EC50P. And that is in absolutely brilliant condition. Amazing. And there we go, we've got another Roger Bannister. And there we go, we've got a Roger Bannister. So that felt like an absolutely eter absolute eternity between uh, finding coins. But yeah, a nice one to sort of break us up. And there we go, straight off the bat, we've got another Benjamin Bunny and another Tales of Peter Rabbit. 
both from 2017. And there we go, got yet another Benjamin Bunny. And another Benjamin Bunny. And there we go, got another Jeremy Fisher. And another Christopher Ironside. And there we go, we've got our first Sherlock for the hunt. So it is pretty much confirmed now that this is going to be quite highly minted. Which is a shame, I was hoping that it would be uh, a lower minted coin. But still my favourite 50p design, a circulating 50p design. And there we go, there's another Benjamin Bunny. And there we go, we've got a Paddington at the Palace. So another really nice Paddington design. So we are on to the last bag and what a mixed bag of a hunt. So we had an amazing start to the hunt and then it just got really quiet with regards to sort of any finds but obviously the absolute champion of the hunt is going to be that Olympic judo. So it would be another slot in the album that we've managed to fill. Absolutely over the moon with that find. So I cannot wait to get it in the album and see another slot filled. But the rest of this bag. So are we going to get anything? No. Nope. Britannia. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off, have a look at the coins for, uh, that are off to the side, and I'll be back in just a minute, and we will have a look and see what we find. All right, see in a sec. Okay, so I have been through all the coins off to the side, and I was able to find two 2008 Britannias. So, absolutely brilliant. But the star find for today is definitely the Olympic. Absolutely over the moon with this find. Sort of absolutely great to add another one to the book. So with that, let's get it added in.
So there we go. The next new Olympic for the book. So we are now missing one, two, three, four, five Olympics, and we have the full set. And obviously, so five, so we're missing seven 50Ps in total until we complete the book. So absolutely over the moon with that find. So that's going to be the end of today's hunt. Sort of, if uh, don't forget to sort of hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The links will be in the description below. And with that said, sort of thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's hunt, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right, bye.